Hi, I'm Victor from Divimundo.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to style and change the color of the success message in the Divi form. We will follow this blog post on Divimundo.com, how to style the Divi form success message plus two examples. And if you're watching this directly on YouTube, you can click the link in the description below the video. So here we have the default success message. It's kind of small and gray and uh, doesn't say too much. And if you have a big header and big uh, graphical elements around it, it, it's easy for it to disappear. You might actually even miss it. And this is what we are aiming for. So we'll add some visual elements like an emoji and we'll change the font color and the font style. So the first step is to actually write your success copy. So if you want to change it from the default text, thanks for contacting us, it's pretty easy to do. And this is called micro copy. And this is actually important. This is the error messages or the success messages on your website. And uh, they are an often overlooked factor for how your website is perceived. Here's a few emojis that you can use. Uh, since this is a success message, you, sh you should use happy emojis. If it's an error message, you can use sad emojis. And this is actually a powerful visual tool for communication. I'll go for the thumbs up. So I'll just mark it and copy it by Command C on my Mac or Control C on a PC. And I go to my site here where I have a DV form module. I've enabled the visual builder. So I'll just click the form and click the cogwheel. Then I scroll down to the text section here. You might need to expand it. Then you have the field success message. To overwrite the default success message, I'll just type it here like success. We will contact you with in 24 hours. So it's always good to set the expectations right when someone sends a form, otherwise they might send it again 12 hours later and uh, that's just unnecessary. And I'll paste my emoji in the end or in the beginning or the middle, that's up to you. Let's exit the visual builder and just try it out. So we're test sending it. There we go. Uh, you have the emoji in the end making it standing out a bit more, but we want to change the, um, the font color and the uh, font style, etc. So let's head into the theme customizer. So step two, you will find it here below. This is where we can change the font color. And I've added a CSS snippet here and we will walk through the different parts of it. So I'll just copy this snippet by clicking the icon. And we go back to the theme customizer. And I can actually just fill in the form when we are in the theme customizer, because then we can see live the styling, how it takes effect. So here we have the default font styling and I'll go to additional CSS and I will just paste the snippet here. And you can see a pretty big difference. So what happened here is that we are targeting the class ETPB contact message P, the paragraph. And I've used this color, which is this green color. So you can just change this to whatever you like. So black, for example, 000, zero, zero would look like that. But I keep it green for now so you can see the difference. You can change the font size. I can make it even bigger. Uh, but be careful because this font size will also affect mobile and tablet views. So uh, it could look a bit strange if you have a, a giant font in, in mobile for this. Uh, you could of course work with media queries if you are a bit CSS savvy. But for now just think about that. So this might work both in desktop and mobile. The font weight, that's how bold it is. So if I just type like 100, you see that it's really thin and it goes up to 900. Oops. There we go. So that's really bold, really strong. And text transform, that's making it uppercase. Then just click publish and you have saved your new color and font styling for the success message. We have another example in the blog post. 
yeah here you can see the result looks kind of the thing that we just did uh, we have the bonus and that is actually adding a background color to the um, success message and uh, here's the CSS snippet for that so I'll just copy that one and uh, I'll replace this one and paste it so there we have it so just a short explanation of the code here if I remove the display inline flex row here you see that this will cover the whole container so that's why I've added this inline flex saying that it should just cover the area where the text is so if I would only have the word success the green box would uh, end after success so it will slim it down and uh, the font size of course the background color you can change if you would like to like that and you can play around with more settings here if you like to of course so this is also a way to make it stand out more okay so we have one final detail if you're in for the fine tuning so there's also an uh, error message in the div form if i miss to fill in a mandatory field for example i just click submit there's an error message here and you can see that the success message styling also applies to the title for the error message i'm not perfectly happy with that but it's not possible to change this because both the error message and the success message uh, has the same uh, css class which is etpb contact message so we can set different colors i would like this maybe to be red and the success message to be green but that's not possible so what we can do is that we can style this bullet list here so they are kind of small and gray and easy to miss i would like to make those red and we can do that by using the bonus 2 styling so i'll just copy this css and uh, I'll add it below the other code or above, doesn't matter. And now you can see that at least this bullet list is really clear that this is an error message. So I'm targeting uh, ETP to contact message, contact message LI, the list, uh, the list items here. And I made it the color red and uh, I made the font weight bold. Or maybe we could do it like that and the font size 18. That's all for today. Feel free to like or comment this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming your way. Thanks for watching.